Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for October 24th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, this top band, we do have this five looking in. That puts a five in one of these two. That's going to point into this box along with this five, putting a five in one of these three cells. Um, we do have two sixes. Given all these digits down here, you'd think we'd have a six, but we don't. So it's a six, one of these three. The four looks in here, putting a four in one of these two, because of this four here. That points in here along with this four. These two fours look up. Whoa. Ignore those twos. Those two fours look up. And that places the four in this box. Nice. Um, this is not four or five. It's also not one, two, six, nine. So it's not um, six digits, which means it's down to three digits because there's nine total, right? So we need a three. Oh, and it can't. Oh, yeah. It can't be four, five, six. So three, seven, eight, but it can't be seven. So it's three, eight only. Okay. Can't do anything with that yet. Um, I think I'm going to move on. Oh, I just noticed we can place a nine in this box. So all these nines look in. Places this nine. These two nines look in. Putting a nine here. Okay, now I think I can move on. Actually, this row's down to four digits. Let's, let's look at that. We need a three, five, seven, eight. Well, this can't be five, seven, or eight. So this is only a three. And then this can't be five or seven. So that's an eight. And then we're left with five, seven over here. Oops. My hand was down one on the keypad. All right. So that's five, seven. Um, and so now this is four digits. We need a one, two, three, and uh, eight. One, two, three, eight. Uh, this can't be one or two. So this is only three, eight. It matches this one, but it doesn't make a pair. They could be the same digit because they aren't sharing a row column or box. Um, this three looks up here. It puts a three in one of these two. So that means that this is one, two, eight. I think this can be any of them. Okay. Uh, this is filled. So let's see. The four is placed. I'm looking to see if anything looks in here that we haven't marked yet. I don't think so. Okay. Now I am going to move on, finally. Um, this two and four. So the two twos look in here. That does place this two. We can follow up on those twos to put a two in one of these two cells. Um, so other than the two, the four, these two fours look in here. That does place this four. These two fours look down. This four looks in. Putting a four in one of these two. Um, I also have the one, three, and nine. So we do have two threes. Puts a three down here somewhere. We have two ones. Puts a one in one of these two. Sorry, one. We did the twos. The nine. So the nine looks in here, placing the nine in this box. This is now a pair. We need a five, six pair. This five tells us the order. That's six, that's five. This whole box just finishes. That six does look up, but there's still two places for six. Um, hmm. What can I do here? Well, I'm going to do that stack in, a, in, I'll do that stack next actually, because this box is filled, but I do want to do that. I want to finish with this band first. So um, did I get the two, the four, the three? The nine. Okay, these two nines look in. Putting a nine in one of these two. All right, this box is down to four digits. We need a five, six, seven, eight. These aren't seven, so the seven ends up in one of these two. That points in along with this seven. The seven looks up. Putting a seven down here. And in fact, we know that this is a triple for the row anyway. So it's three, seven, one, three, one, three, seven. So that one, three, seven triple does make this four left as well. But let's keep looking at this. So we need a, what was it? Five, six, seven, eight. This is not a six or seven, so this is five, eight. This isn't seven either, so this is five, six, eight. Um, this whole row, we need a five, six, seven, eight as well. Um, this can't be eight, six or eight, so this is five, seven. This can't be seven, so this is five, six, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. This whole box is five, six, wait. No, these can't be seven. I haven't even had that marked. So did I, did I mess this up? Yeah, okay, it can't be six, eight, or seven. So yeah, it's a naked five, okay. Um, that places this five up here as well. These fives look down, putting a five here, one of these two. 
Um, so these are 6, 8, 9. I'm just going to write that out. Oh, and this can't be 6, 8. So that's our 9. Uh, there's a 5 over here somewhere. So these are not 5, right? These are 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now I do believe I have this all marked correctly. Um, just looking to see if we made any pairs or triples vertically here, but I don't think we did. Okay. This uh, I'm going to do this stack next. I said I would. Uh, this is a pair. What do we need? We need the 1 and the 6. So it's not resolved. Um, this, these two sevens look up, I'm putting a seven one of these two. Let's see, twos, we got fours are done, fives are done, sevens we marked. And then, so other than five, we need three, four, and we need three and eight. So the two threes do look down, I'm putting a three in one of these two. And then this eight looks down, along with this eight, this eight looks in, that places the eight in this box. These eights look over, I'm putting an eight in one of these two. Um, okay, uh, this whole box is down to four digits. We need a one, three, six, nine. These are not ones. So these are three, six, nine. That one's not a nine. And then these aren't, this isn't three. So this is, and it's not six either. So this is one, nine only. Like this whole column is one, seven, nine. Top one's not a nine. And this column is two, three, six, nine. This can't be six. Two, three, nine. Can't be three either. Neither of these are three, yeah. So two, six, nine. This one's not nine. Two, six. You'd think there'd be something to do here. I'm looking, but I don't see it. Okay, I'm going to go back to this band. I don't want to forget to do a band or stack. Uh, so we have these two sevens here. It puts a seven down here. These two eights we got marked. The nine does not seem to do anything. Okay, anything else I might have missed? Um, let's see, four, eight, seven, eight, nine. Uh, this cell might be pretty limited because it's not one, two. So it could be three. It's not four. It could be five. Can't be six, se can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. So it is down to three, five. And that makes a three, five, eight triple. I know I'm going to get the question how did you spot the three, five, eight triple? You spot it when you mark it. I marked this 3-5, and I said, well, that's pretty limited. Well, in general, anytime I mark something, I want to be looking at the row, the column, and the box for a pair or a triple, and then there it is. It's the only things I have marked in the column, in fact. And so this 3-5-8 triple does remove 3-5 and 8 from the rest of the column. Basically, we still need a 4 and a 7 in the column, and they go here. This 7 tells us the order. That's 4, that's 7. That does place the 8 as well. Um, and now this is a 5-6-7 triple. Very nice. So that means the remaining digits here we need are 1, 2, and 3. So we can just mark that. Um, I'm not seeing anything to do with the 1, 2, 3. So yeah, we've got this 5, 6, 7. Now notice the 6 can't be in this 5, 7 cell. So the 6 ends up in one of these two. You can also see it for the whole column. The column needs a 6. It's in one of these two. That means this can't be a 6. Because we can't put a six here, or we'd have nowhere to put six in the column. These these sixes claim the box. It's called claiming. Um, now, what can I do with that? I don't know that I can do much with it right now. Um, one, two, five. Okay, I got the one, two, three. All right. Anything else I can do with this band? Okay, we do have two fours now. This four looks down, puts a four in one of these two. Um, eights are done, sevens are done, nine. Still has nothing to do. Okay. I mean, I guess we can mark nine one of these two if we want. Might as well. I'm going to do this stack here. So we have seven and eight. We have two. The twos do look down. So there's a two in one of these two. Oh, yeah, I missed that two there. Okay, so that's their two in the box. This column is now down to three digits. Let's look. Oh no, it's four digits. It's one, three, four, seven. So this is one, three, seven. It's not a one. Neither of these are one. And so this is three, four, seven. And then this isn't seven. So this is one, three, four. Hmm. Is there something going on here? I don't think so. The eight in this row, actually. These can't, be, yeah, we have this eight here. What's causing that? 
it's really just it's it's this eight and this eight it's the row it's purely the row we can't do the box logic so this eight says no eights here this eight says no eights here and this five nine occupy two important spots that eight could have been and so eight ends up in one of these two cells in this row and that means that's going to claim the box that means this can't be an eight so it's only one or two um I want to be able to do something with this one too, but I don't see it. Okay. Well, I mean, it's something. Uh, yeah, we have this eight. Okay. I was looking at this stack, so let's continue looking at it. Um, this cell here is one three six for the row. It's not a one, so the one in the row is placed here. Oopsie, placed. That gives the six, two, nine. We have a one, seven pair here. We can place this nine down here. This is three, six, three, six, three, six. Three, six, eight. Um, okay, that was, that was some good stuff. Oh, this two does look over. Hmm. Uh, what did I get up here? So the twos do tell us that two is in one of these two cells. Um, the six, we got the six, we got this one. We have all our sixes. Okay, I don't know that there's more to do here. Uh, anything more with this vertical? Not yet. Uh, let's look at this. I think I looked at this vertical already. Um, Okay, so what do I need to look more carefully at? Because we are not done, obviously. Uh, this cell here is avoiding the 4 and the 5, so that might be interesting. It's not 1, 2. It could be 3. It's not 4, 5. Look at our corner marks. Um, it could be 6. It's not 7, 8, 9. So that is a 3, 6 naked pair here. This could only be 3, 6. This can only be 3, 6. So that 3, 6 naked pair says that this is 7 and this is 8. That gets us the six here. We get the five, six, seven, eight here. We get our five and seven. We get our one, two, three, and eight. Wow, we get the eight here. Seven and one, three. Uh, this is four, seven, but the seven tells us the order. This is the seven, that's the four. We get our one and our three. This is the four in the box. We get our three, one, and two. Six and three is resolved. Um, okay, this column, let, let, what does the box need? It needs a one. That goes here, that goes the, that's the five. We need a nine. For here, we need five and six. Suddenly, we're done. Wow. So this three six naked pair finished everything. Th there were some there were some difficult to spot naked pairs in this uh, puzzle. Actually, there was this three six at the end. We also had them in the in these columns. We had the I think the five six seven and honestly, I think it was this. It was some I don't know. It was it was three of these. I don't remember which. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, cool. Um, let me know how you did, and if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.